Hello and welcome to the first part of a detailed tutorial how to start running and just run Elden Ring Call Achievements. So in this part we will talk about uh, the setup, how to get prepared for Elden Ring speedrunning. It's pretty much general knowledge like how to prepare your game, how to, pre how to prepare yourself, useful tools. What do you want to know and stuff like that. So let's just like immediately start. First of all, uh, for obviously for to, to run Elden Ring, you don't want to run it on current patch because current patch is the slowest one for sure because of From Software nerfing and patching all the speed stuff that was before. So what do we want to do in order to go to an older patch, which is faster? Want to... Uh, probably go to down patching page of speed cells and here you'll find all the information but let's just discuss like those uh, small steps that you'll need to do firstly you will need to download a steam manifest patcher uh, that'll be just one file that you'll need and this file is called steam depot down patcher right here that's the fair that's the file and once you download it just launch it like this and you'll be fine. It will show you some error, but it's all good. It's nothing to worry about. You just press enter and close it. Then after it, you press Windows R and type this Steam Open Console like this. And you open it. And because of that comment, console will be open in Steam. So the next step, what you want to do, uh, you want to look up what patch is that on uh, Elden Ring speedruns and L and on like on current like in current moment right now, the fastest patch that it uh, that exists is 102, uh, 103, 10, oh my god, 102.3, 102.1. So you want to pretty much download both data and executable because there is. I believe no depot with data and executable like already in one depot. So what you want to do is just copy this, go here and paste it. And once you'll paste it, uh, downloading will start. You will not see it anywhere except like a uh, text right here. So you'll need to wait a certain amount of time. I will not do that right now, but I'll show you how it works on executable data will be downloading quite long so we will just download this and we paste it right here here we go uh and as i said you always want to if you want to download patch again doesn't really matter you need to launch steam depot before so make sure to do that and as you can see uh, it started to download, but it, since it's a really, really small file, it's just an exe, execut like executable files, it was quite fast. And you can see right now the stacks that debug download complete, and there is a path and we'll need to go to look for it. So pretty much what we do is we go to this passing. I just know it by myself, but it's usually in, on your disk where your Steam is, like your main Steam uh the main steam files then you go to steam apps and while in common you have games you need to go to content and here is the application that we'll need here is the depot that we downloaded and here is the game and executable that we'll need so that's pretty much how it is so but for example we also downloaded data as well so obviously you want to combine both of them you want to Copy easy anti cheat and outring.exe right here. And you want to combine both of them. Uh, then, after that, you go to common. And for example, you want to save your Elden Ring, right? Like you have current patch here, for example. You just create another folder. Call it, for example, Elden Ring Speedrun. Enter it and paste it right here. And in order to change patch real quick, for example, you've been playing multiplayer on the current patch, but you want to start speedrunning again or back, whatever. You just call it. For example, I don't know if this if that's a current patch, you for example call it current patch. And the patch you want to choose 
next you look for this folder and then you rename it to just Elden Ring because problem is that Steam will launch only full only executable in the folder that is called Elden Ring without anything so yeah you want to do that and that's all pretty much so we can delete this and something like that so pretty much as, as I have right now it's 102 version and 103.2 so that's how you can easily change patches without any problems so we don't need this anymore I can delete it um, then next step that you'll want to do is uh, you go to the game and that's how your folder will look like but there is a anti anti cheat as far as I remember <coughs> What you will need to do is you want to copy your executable that will be uh, will be right here. You want to copy that and paste it, for example, somewhere outside of this folder, like like right here. And then you want to uh, uh, rename it to this starprotectedgame.exe, like this. And the original one which will be star protected game uh, with anti cheat you want to rename to star protected game or reg or reg or whatever you want just add something and that's all so that will allow you uh, to launch a game without anti cheat and after that you just paste it back because anyway steam will look for eldring.exe so you will have like three executables here like one is the just renamed one one that was anti easy anti cheat you just call it like you just call it like this and you paste an uh, original one that will be launched by steam and then you just for example it from here and let's look up and as you can see it uh launches absolutely normally without any problems Here we go. 103.3. Uh, 102.3. So let's just go here. So that was the first step. For example, we don't patch uh, don't patch our game. That's not, uh, not that's not the all that you want to do. The, like you can of course start right here, but also I would recommend to do some other stuff. Uh, I would uh, strongly recommend to download Speed Soul Safe Organizer. That's a small uh, small program that will allow you to make save files. And I'll try to show you right now how this save files and the processing works around that. Uh, and yeah, all the links obviously will be in the description to the don't patching page to save organizer. So everything will be in the description. So I have like lots of save files here, as you can see. Uh, like you can sort them how much you want and pretty much you can use it in any FromSoft game, obviously except uh, Bloodborne because it's the only console as well as Demon Souls. Uh, but here we go. For example, we want to download any save file. For example, I don't know. It can be uh, pretty much any save file. Okay, let's go to the save file just to show up. So what's going on? You press load save state and you go, for example, right here, right? And what do we have here? For example, we have two flask of cereal and tears, right? We, we drink them and quit out the game. And now we just load the save file back. And as you can see, flask is again at full and we are in the same place so pretty much game uh to, to save your progress like this for example we don't want like any charges in our flask and we want to move uh, ourselves somewhere like i don't know for example like like here so we just quit out go right here we press import save state and it will import your save state from this passing right no not here uh, from right here you, you you should set up before obviously using it but uh, all the information you can find on speed souls page how to set it up it's not hard obviously uh, but just yeah it will it will import the save state and now you press for example f2 
and you rename it uh, test save file. And now, for example, we want to load it back. So here is our old position, as you could see. But now we will load a new one. So you can see how it works, pretty much. So this current sync allows you, as you can see, it works perfectly. Uh, that allows you to practice bosses, practice uh, skips, pretty much anything you want. This is like really, really widely used in all Souls games, so feel free. It's a really, really useful stuff and all speedrunners obviously who want to run and grind runs use it so yeah something like that but that's not the end uh pretty much of uh of this small part because it's definitely like smaller part than it will be later uh there is one thing that you want to also use that is called practice tool and practice tool is uh Really, 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 really interesting thing that is uh, that will allow you to practice also lots of stuff. It will make it way easier, as well as safe organizer. So, uh, practice tool is made by Mr. John Desandonato. So, make make sure to follow him. He's a really good guy, and he's pretty much creating this stuff for free for all the community. And this stuff is literally goaded. So look, j just look how it works. As you can see, it's not located in like in my game folder, folder or somewhere. It's just an exe file, and you launch it. Once Elden Ring is already here. Um, please. Thank you. Yeah, nice. And now, as you can see, there is an overlay. I hope you can see, of course. Yeah, you can see. Perfect. Uh, so, so there is an overlay. And now we press zero. And for example, it won't like no deaths and all, uh, all no damage and no deaths. And it will allow us just to jump right here, as you can see. And without any problems, we just survive. So potential is limitless here. Like you can do whatever you want. You can, for example, turn off gravity. And it will completely turn off gravity as well if, as for your horse. For example, you want to summon it, you can do that. Just press zero back, so you cannot use any consumables during this overlay. And here you go, you have some kind of a Pegasus. Or, for example, you want to... Uh, I don't know. For example, you want to test damage, so you, you can just turn off all the AI. And all the guys right here will, will be doing nothing. So as you can see, he's just not attacking us entirely. And we can attack him how much he wants. And also, like, you all know damage works on all enemies. Like, potential is limitless. Like, you can also, for example, save and load your position. For example, we save it right here and we can load it back. It doesn't really matter how far you go. So yeah, also, yeah, speeding up yourself or getting 10k runes. It's really, really, it's really, really easy, and it will obviously uh, give you lots of. It will save lots of your time, because for example, you don't need to rebuild your character. You can just edit your stats right here, uh, or you can spawn any item right here. That's a really great program, so I will strongly recommend you to download it as well. Uh, but obviously, it's prohibited to run with this opened because it affects ai if you don't even use it like i mean no death no damage and stuff like that um it affects uh enemies ai in a weird way sometimes so it can be noticed so don't even try to run with that so yeah or your run will be rejected i'm speaking obviously only uh about leaderboards official leaderboards on speedrun.com and speaking of them, and yeah, also link to practice will be in description. So maybe the last thing uh, what I want to speak about in this tutorial, uh, in this part, is uh, <clears throat> rules. Yeah, rules. 
make sure to if you want to speedrun adding category uh in eldering make sure to go to speedrun.com and press here view rules because there's lots of people who don't read rules and then their run is getting rejected so make sure to read this category rules are quite simple just get all achievements and you're good to go uh, but here are the general game rules and you make sure that you like you read this because that's really important and last thing i guess yeah the very last thing is uh how do you reset your achievements obviously so here we go back and here is for example your progress there is a program that is called uh steam achievements manager uh, also, link will be in the description, but uh, let me just show you how it works. So, here is the program that is called SAM, Steam Achievements Manager. We just press, for example, samgame.exe. We can close it. And now we just look for a game that we uh, want to reset achievements in. And in our case, that's Eldering. And here. Once uh, to just reset all your achievements, you press lock all achievements and commit changes. And now make sure to sometimes, of course, to change your game page from Eldering to something else, because sometimes it doesn't reset the achievement without that. But usually it does just to make sure. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it for the first part. Uh, on the next part, we obviously will start speaking of uh, run by itself. But I don't think I forgot anything. Obviously, you want to have a live split. Because uh, it will be just comfier if you're playing on PC. If you're playing on console, like you don't have most of the opportunities. Like don't patch in like practice tool, like save files. Uh, you can you can do save files, but it's really really complicated. So if you're playing on PC, you obviously want to have a light split, but it's not mandatory. You just want to show your time in the end uh, of the run, and light split is not needed in this case. So yeah, that's it for this part, and good luck with your runs, and I'll see you next uh, on the next part.